It's a place millions have visited just two hours from Spokane. Summers in the Northwest mean visits to the Gorge Amphitheater for so many. It's taken a year off because of the pandemic, but next weekend it opens back up with a bang. Not only that, it's coming back with even bigger fanfare as a documentary about the Gorge will be released nationwide tomorrow. Brand new at five, Eleni Dow takes us to the Gorge for a glimpse into the past. It started out as a small venue, a place that could hold a couple thousand people with performers playing on a wooden stage. Years later, it came out to all of this, an experience more than 20,000 people can enjoy today and big name performers coming from all over the place. The Gorge became an icon and a destination for many people. There are special moments in your life you will never forget. For music lovers, there's one concert they'll always remember. Not often do people remember where, unless that concert was at the Gorge. It is this epicenter of, of, that people come to from all over the world. So it's not a place just for young or just for old or whatnot, but that it will always be a place that creates those special memories for people at all different ages and along their pathway. It's a place Carrie Arredondo's parents started in the 80s as a winery. She had a childhood full of special memories. Now she's working at her own winery, just a short walk from the gorge. I mean, I walk down there, I see the cherry trees that I planted when I was 14. Remembering the one day her family wanted to put together a little grand opening for the winery, where the gorge sits now. I realized quite quickly um, that the acoustics were absolutely phenomenal and just amazing. It quickly grew over the years. Wow, what an evolution. I mean, it was, it was literally a, a plywood stage, maybe could accommodate two, 3,000 people at most. Now, more than 20,000 people can sit on this grass and listen to their favorite bands in front of a beautiful view along the Columbia River. So we were driving through fields and fields and fields, and you know, you finally pull up, and then you, you get out of the car and you sort of walk over this crest, and, um, and then it all makes sense. You're like, oh, okay, like, this is the whole deal. Nick Davis wanted to encapsulate everything the Gorge offers. He directed a documentary of the amphitheater called Enormous, The Gorge Story. It is six years in the making. Happy it finally releases tomorrow. It was pushed a year back because of COVID. This is a community event. This is something that is meant to be seen on a big screen. After all, it is called Enormous. So we wanted to hold out for that and I'm so glad that we did. Right before the Gorge welcomes fans again next week for the three-day watershed concert. Perfect timing for more people to create more memories, whether it's artists playing in their favorite venue or the thousands of people singing back. It is just such a wonderful reminder that we are all alive and that we all have the wonderful ability to create and to create something beautiful and to create something together that brings people together and really creates joy. Reporting from the Gorge, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.